about you, I'm Andy and welcome back to another episode of Scratch Building Basics uh, where I like to build cool robots from junk you'd normally throw away. So if that's something you'd fancy, uh, stick around. So this episode I'm going to attempt to build a Mad Max style uh, vehicle and uh, this is a friendly challenge from Anderson Ward on Instagram. So uh, myself and another builder, uh, Johnny Simpleton, accepted. So I'm uh, going to see what we can come up with. And my first idea was to try and customise this Hot Wheels car but then I was very kindly given a box of broken toys so I'm gonna see what I can use out of that, it's full of really cool stuff, let's get a wee look. This is just a box of plastic gold, we've got all sorts in here, everything a boy could ask for you know, everything from water pistols to plastic boots so I have to give them a big thank you, thank you Christian dude I really appreciate it and Arn and Joel, thanks lads and of course not forgetting Kaseya, thank you Kaseya, it was like Christmas come early guys, I really do appreciate it, so thank you. So we don't need this anymore, this is what I was going to do originally, um, I'll, I'll keep it to one side and maybe do a Gaslands build in the future. So uh, this yellow truck was in the box, so uh, that's a good start, I can use the base of that and maybe some of the wheels. And then there was also this uh, monster truck, and the wheels are pretty chunky off this, so we'll definitely be able to use those. So uh, that's what I'm going to start with anyway, there's plenty of the rest of the stuff to choose from. So I'll just get these broken down, uh, just to see what I'm working with. I'll try to get this yellow cab off, I don't think I'm going to use it, I'll just uh, build another one. And then just take the wheels off, put those to one side. And that's a good base to start with I think, um, I'll keep that cab for another build. And then monster truck here, I'll just need a set of wheels, so I'll take both the wheels off for now. They just pull off quite easy. And then I think I'll use this big set of wheels on the back. I just have to separate them first. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, so I'll, I'll use these on the back and then keep the smaller ones on the front. And there's a couple of wee nubs here. I'll, I'll have to cut those off first and drill a few holes so they fit. But let me see. Something like, oh, that's the front. Yep, let's just switch that over. Yeah, something like that. It should give it a nice stance. It'll raise it up at the back a wee bit. And just give it that sort of crazy stance. I'm not going for any sort of particular scale. Uh, Emerson did sort of mention scale, but uh, uh, I'm, I'm kind of ignoring that. Sorry, Emerson. <laughs> so that's the chassis sorted. Um, I still need an engine. So uh, this was in the box. I think this is an engine off an Action Man boat. So I'll be able to use it. Um, the scale's a bit ridiculous, but I think it'll look pretty cool with, with those wheels. Um, so what I'm going to do first is do everything down with wire wool. It's, I've never tried it before, but um, I think if I do all this plastic down with some wire wool first, it'll just make it easier to stick stuff to. So that's the plan. So while I do that, why don't you check out uh, Johnny's build? Johnny's just an unbelievable scratch builder. Um, he builds all sorts from uh, scratch built scorpions to Leafy McCranky 3000, the leaf blown Mac Walker. So Johnny, a bit like myself, uh, jumped at the chance at a Mad Max build and he's just nailed it, just unbelievable detail on this build. I mean there's everything in there from, he started with a computer mouse chassis and there's a spark plug in there and there's a few bicycle tire valves and then we've got a few electrical bits and bobs and then there's some model kit parts and I think the model kit parts are actually that uh, JCB bucket he's working on at the minute, maybe a few other bits and pieces. And then there's a few wooden sticks, wooden barbecue sticks in there as well. And then just for good measure, there's some parts from a loudspeaker. And that's certainly not the whole parts list, but you get the idea. So yeah, I'll leave a link for Johnny's Instagram there in the description. And you gotta go check it out and let him know I sent you. So, back to the build. I've got everything wire wooled. Um, it seemed to work well. I think I maybe should have got a, a bit of a coarser wire wool. I got the finest I could get. But um, I think it's going to do the job. And I got my engine cut down, got that part cut off the engine, just put that to one side, and that just fits on there lovely. I had to profile the bottom of the engine a wee bit just to fit onto the chassis, there's kind of a wee bump there in the middle. But uh, then yeah, I cut a few pipes here just to go on top. Um, I'm going to pretend they're cylinders, it's not exactly accurate, but it'll do. You know, no, I just wanted to look badass, I don't really care if it's uh, accurate or not. And then I've got a, got a hair curler here, I've just cut it in half. So I'm just using my knife here to put a bit of a teeth in the in the side of it here just for the glue to grip to. And then I'll rub some uh, baking powder there on the side of the engine first. And then stick it on and the glue just bites straight away. And then I'll just go back in with my glue. 
and add a wee bit more seasoning just to taste. And uh, yeah, that's going to do nicely on there. I think it's going to make a nice wee detail there on the side of the engine. And so I'll just get this other one stuck and then I can move on. Alrighty, so I want to stick my engine down to my chassis. So I'm just going to use my knife here to again put some teeth into the into the cut there just for the baking powder and the glue to go into. And then I'll just score a wee grid just where the engine is going to come in contact with the chassis. And uh, rub a wee bit of baking powder into that as well just to make sure it has a nice bite. And you'll see when I rub the baking powder in, the, the, the grooves that I've cut are quite deep. Yeah, I know, but that, that just makes sure that that glue has plenty to grip to. This plastic is quite waxy, so I want to make sure everything sticks well. And believe me, it sticks really well when, when you get it right. And I'm liking the proportions of the engine to the chassis. And um, At the start, I did think it might have been a bit ridiculously big. But uh, compared to the wheels and, uh, and the rest the rest of the chassis, I, I don't think it's too bad. I think the size looks okay. So uh, go back in just to a wee bit of baking powder. So that's my engine stuck. Uh, so before I move on, here's a wee look at Emerson's build. Emerson's another just fantastic scratch builder. Uh, he builds everything from uh, scatter terrain to duck build cybernetic monstrosities of flesh and mechanical limbs like uh, Ducky Stein which is well worth checking out. Uh, but this wee build's actually built a scale, which is unbelievable. I think it's 28 millimeter scale he builds to, but uh, I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But just unbelievable. The detail he's packed into this is just crazy. So nicely done, Emerson. And Emerson was the one that set the challenge in the first place. So uh, thanks, man, for, for letting us get involved. Alrighty. So I've got the wheels back on here, just so I can start building around them. And then I've uh, cut myself a front fender, um, just using the instant coffee pods. Um, I haven't cut one for the other side yet because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do on the other side. But uh, that just fits nicely there. Yeah, I was thinking of maybe cutting a couple more just to put on the back. <laughs> but then I've got this wee piece just from a water pistol. And that's just going to glue in there nicely. And I've a couple of small bottles here that I like using for tanks. So I'll maybe stick a couple of those there. Or maybe just one. I'll see how it fits. But uh, yeah, I think two would look good. And uh, so, yep, that's what I'm going to do with those. And then for the cab, I'm going to build it from these wee plastic shapes that I got. Um, I think that's going to make a pretty good cab there. These all just sort of click together. And it's just going to fit nicely over the over the driver's area. You yeah, know, that should fit on there, something like that. And then I've got another wee piece here just for the side, just for a wee bar on the side there. I think that should look pretty good. And uh, these wee plastic shapes, uh, what I've done is I've kind of whittled them down with my Stanley knife uh, just to make them look a bit less plasticky. Um, they're click sticks, you call them. I got them in a round a pound. Um, and yeah, they, they just clip together. They're a bit like the you know the Lego minifigures' hands. You know, they, they click to each other like that. And uh, yeah, so like I said, took my Stanley knife and just whittled them down, made them look a bit less plasticky. And uh, it should take paint really well, and it should look good. And uh, so yeah, that's the plan for the cab. I'll just get all that stuck on, and then I can move on to a few more details. So got the cab all sorted, looking good, nice and sturdy. Once uh, <laughs> once the stock goes, they they really sturdied up, especially with the texture that it give them. It give the glue plenty to grip to. And um, so I'm just gonna get my wee tank glued on here, and um, just use my standing knife, rough it up a wee bit on the edge. It's gonna be in contact with the chassis and rub my baking powder in and that'll make sure it doesn't go anywhere just secure that nicely and then if I'm happy enough with the position I'll just add a wee bit more seasoning uh, just to make sure and then I can get my wee pump glued on uh, just the same again I'll just double check where I'm going to put it and then um, I'll score the chassis and score the bottom of the, the pump and rub some baking powder into the chassis and plenty of glue on the bottom of the pump and stick that on there and this will just give me a wee spot to put a few wires into it'll be nice or a few pipes uh, just leading to a few different places and yep yeah, looking good coming together nicely I suppose it's looking a wee bit weird without the wheels on but I'm gonna stick the front wheels back on here now and then see about getting the front bumper on so front wheels back on I've um, stuck some pipe in under here, underneath, and then another wee one of those plastic sticks, uh, just for something for the bumper to stick to. And uh, then I've cut up some plastic forks and made a grill for the front. 
that's going to be a pretty sick grill for the front there and uh, just use a lighter just to bend them a wee bit N not too much but uh, just a wee bit and then I cut this from a, a soup, soup bottle and it's just a front bumper it just wraps nicely around the front and then uh, again I, I burnt the edges a wee bit just with a lighter just to curl those edges a wee bit and it helps you shape it a wee bit too and it's just giving me enough clearance either side of the wheels and uh, yeah that's going to look pretty cool so I'll get it glued on same procedure uh, put some seasoning on first and then some glue on the other piece and uh, plenty of glue because uh, I want to make sure this really sticks this is going to be carrying the, the grill so yeah and then go back in with some more bacon powder and uh, make sure it's got a nice good strong bond and that is that is stuck on really well there's no gaps or anything between the body or the bumper and ooh nearly got some glue on the mat there that's why I use this wee black cutting board I'd hate to get glue on the mat but uh, so yeah I'll, I'll leave that sitting to dry I did put a lot of glue on that and so I'm leaving it upside down and just so the glue runs runs down into the seam and then I can hit it with some more bacon powder and yep looking good that's going to paint up really well plastic when you burn the edges of plastic like that and roll the edges it, it does look like a metal panel in my opinion it, it's a really cool technique so uh, just cut yourself some panels and singe the edges with it later and in the grill just go on the front here like so so I'll get it stuck on next and then maybe think about putting some fenders over the front wheels here alrighty so I've got my grill on the front and um, I just want to bulk it out a wee bit more so I've cut up a, another fork and I'm just gonna glue these extra pieces on the front here just to bulk it up a wee bit more and um, make it look a bit more menacing so I'll just get those on and I already had the bits uh, prepped so I used my standing knife and just uh, scratched up the back of the, the plastic four pieces and then scratched up the, the parts of the grill that it was going to come in contact with and just to make sure that they were a good bond as always and uh, this was a instant coffee pod and then I used it to cut my uh, front fender and um, just cut out a wee section of it and uh, cut some teeth in it and uh, so same as usual rough it up with my standing knife and uh, just check where it's coming into contact there and um, it's a small piece so I do want to make sure it's roughed up and then I've got another wee one of my plastic sticks and I'm just going to use it as a support just to carry the other side of the fender and that'll just hold it out and make sure it's not going to rub against the wheel so I'll just get that glued on something like this and nicely glued on I went back in with my glue just and put like a weld line on the inside and put plenty of bacon powder on it and then I'm still leaving this other side blank because I've got this space you can see the cab is sort of slightly off center from the from the rest of the chassis and I've got this space so I'm thinking of maybe putting something there so I'll not put the other fender on for now but yep looking good ready to go with some more details I've still got some holes here I need to fill with some wires more than likely and uh, yep get a few more details cut so I've took my wee plastic boat and split it in half and nice shape to me it's a really nice fender shape and nearly cut my thumb off but I'm okay I'll survive <laughs> and yeah they're gonna go over the wheels something like that and I think that's gonna look pretty good a wee bit insect like to be honest and, uh, and then I made another panel here just out of my, my plastic soap bottle and yeah, that's just gonna cover the, the cab there and then another wee sort of metal surround for uh, around the cab just to give it a bit of a meaner Mad Max look but yeah something like that so I'll just get that all glued on it's a wee bit fiddly but uh, shouldn't be a problem and here I've just used some styrene uh, just to widen out my, my boat a wee bit and it, it uh, kind of looks like another raised panel uh, so I had to do a wee bit of fiddling just to, to get it around the tank and just to make it look nice but yeah just styrene sheet or plastic card and uh, you could use cardboard if you didn't have it just some even some cereal box cardboard but yeah cut a wee uh, paper template first uh, just to keep my right and uh, yeah then cut around that and stuck it onto my, my the bottom of my boat and that's gonna look pretty good I put a wee support here on the back and um, it's just another one of the plastic rods with some more uh, spray bottle tube uh, just to extend it out a wee bit and that'll carry the the bottom of the boat something like that and you can see I've put another wee sort of red support in there behind the cab uh, just another one of those plastic rods 
and then um, yeah so that's going to carry that and then i've cut my, i finally cut a fender for this side and um, i think i can still build a platform over it so uh, i've sort of flattened out the top of it a wee bit and uh, yep i'll just score it as usual and get it glued on and then i made a couple of the exhausts <laughs> this was just from some uh, uh, water pistol parts inside a water broken water pistol and then i just uh, bulked out the ends of it there with some more some more spray bottle tubing so they're going to go on somewhere around there i don't want to stick them on just yet because uh, i don't want them to interfere with the the bottoms of the boat there that are going to be stuck on the side so yeah but um spray bottle tubes just the different sizes just tends to always fit inside each other which is really handy if you want to step up the larger and larger tubes so yeah that's going to look good uh so i'll get my wee fender stuck on the front here and then i can uh, get some wire cut and start putting some pipes uh, from these holes so uh, this is just electrical wire just normal electrical wire and uh, so it's going to fit in there nicely uh, what I'll do is uh, rough up the end of the wire first just with my Stanley knife before I stick it and uh, yeah it'll fit in here nicely and um, this is some ethernet cable so it, it just makes it sort of different style of wire and uh, yeah like I said rough it up with my Stanley knife and then dip it in the in the seasoning <laughs> And uh, and stick them in, and yep, it's looking really well. I'll I'll just sort of poke these out of the way for now, because I'm not quite sure where they're gonna go. So I'll get all these sorted, and then I can move on to the rear bumper. I need to sort something out back there. I haven't really did anything back there yet. So I'll cut some more of this tubing, and uh, stick it up here, and that'll give me just a wee bit more to stick to, and uh, just cut it perfect fit. Slides in there nicely, and uh, so I'll get that glued up. And uh, that means, like I said, it gives me sort of more surface to stick the rear bumper to. Um, I might have to stick one of those wee plastic rods in, but I'll, I'll see what happens. So for now, I'll get this stuck in and then tidy up that wire. I'll maybe just poke that wire in there. And that's spot on up in there. And uh, just for the rest, for now, just sort of roll them up and get them out of the way, because they're getting in the way. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where I want to put them. So now that's sorted. Um, I keep looking at the engine and thinking I could do another two cylinders on the top here. So I've cut another couple of uh, pipes here for the front. I'll just stick those there. And that'll bring me from a, a, a six cylinder to an eight cylinder. And then I've got a cool wee part here that came out of a, just a toy car. One of those wee toy cars you pull back and let go. So it's going to fit nicely there. It'll make a nice wee turbocharger uh, just for the top there. So I'll get that stuck on. And then I'll get my other two cylinders um, stuck on. And then what I've done is I've uh, cut some more plastic pipe. You know, they were saying some of the plastic pipes from spray bottles fit inside each other. So I've uh, cut the next two sizes down. So I'm going to stick those in uh, just to sort of exaggerate uh, the shape of these of these pistons. And then I'll have to figure out where I'm going to put uh, eight exhausts. Uh, but I've still got the two made for now. Um, I'm still not going to stick them on. I don't really want them interfering with those uh, side skirts that I made from the boat. Alrighty, so we got the pistons finished, and uh, got the wires tidied up, and another wee panel there stuck on the front, uh, and then I, I stuck a wee. Uh, I had a spring from a pen, so it, it just fitted on there nicely. So I stuck it on top there. It's just made a nice wee wee detail. And, uh, yep, like I said, wires tidied up. I just sort of ran them in a few random places, tidied them up a wee bit. And, uh, yeah, looking good. I think I can near stick on the, the side skirts now. So I've got them prepped here. I've cut up in the, the grid like I would normally do. And then rubbed some uh, bacon powder into the, into the grooves. And I'll just load these two points up here with plenty of glue. And, yeah. Uh, carefully set this on it's it's because there's, there's very few points of contact so I just need to be careful so I'll, uh, I'll carefully set it on and leave it to sit for a few minutes before I turn it upside down so while I'm waiting I want to give a big shout to all my patreon supporters so David thanks very much David Wes thank you Wes Luke thanks very much Luke Matt thank you Matt Alice Thank you very much, Alice. Really appreciate it. Cabo. Thank you, Cabo. And last but not least, Maggie. Thanks very much, Maggie. Okay, this has been sitting for a few minutes. I think it's safe to maybe turn over. And um, what I'll do is I'll go back in with my glue. 
and just put some more glue on those joints and just reinforce it with some of my seasoning and uh, just to make sure it's well stuck just because of the very small points of contact but no it's not interfering with the wheel or anything that's lovely looking good nice and sturdy and I can get the other one stuck on now already that's both both sides stuck on I can get my exhausts on now and I think it's looking very beetle like at the minute I think it's looking really cool but yeah my, my first of eight exhausts can go there and then another one on the other side and then I've got half a hair curler here I'm gonna stick it on the back and that means I can stick some more armor plating to, to that so I'll just get those stuck on same as usual plenty of glue plenty of bacon powder and I already prepped the, the hair curler and uh, and I prepped the, the exhaust as well just the same as before with my Stanley knife just roughed up those edges and yep so that's two exhausts on only six more to go and uh, I don't know where they're gonna go but I'll, I'll worry about that in the next video and uh, yeah looking good I've got my hair curler on the back I can stick some more armor plating to that later uh, but for now I've cut some spikes and um, I just used up the fork handles and some other plastic spoon handles and uh, just cut some spikes I'm just gonna stick those all over the place and um, I really like the look of those buzzard cars I think they're called buzzards from uh, from Fury Road and uh, so I've uh, I've started here I've got a load on the front really happy with that I don't think I need any more on the front that's pretty menacing looking and then I've started just here on the back but I'm gonna continue just bringing them from the from the back towards the front uh, yeah looking really good so I'll uh, get a load more spikes cut and um, I've still got some plastic spoon handles and stuff I can use up and um, I'll tidy up a wee bit because it's a bit of a mess but yeah get some more spikes cut and get them added and then I'll get some shielding on the back so uh, got some more spikes on and I think that's about the limit I don't want to put any more on and now I can focus on the on the back here I need to get some some protection on it on the back side there's nothing here at all so I've took a plastic spoon and just cut it into strips and it sends the edges again just a wee bit with my lighter just to curl those edges a wee bit and I'm gonna stick these on the back here and uh, something like that but here, I don't know if you've noticed, I got some bloody glue on my cotton mat. Can you believe it? After all that effort. But sure, anyway, what can you do? It was going to happen at some stage. So anyway, I'll get these glued on and uh, then we can think about getting some rivets done. It's kind of my favourite part. I like doing the rivets. It's uh, it's relaxing. It takes a wee while, but uh, it's kind of relaxing and, and the results are really cool. So I'll get my, my lobster tail caboose on here first. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put another layer of shielding just above that uh, but I haven't got that cut yet I'll have to cut some more spoons uh, so that'll do for now and um, I can move on get some rivets going and uh, I'll not bore you showing you put every rivet on so I'll use the clever editing trick uh, just to fly through it alrighty rivets done I got uh, some more shielding there on the back that's looking a lot more like a lobster tail now. I don't know why I wanted to put a lobster tail on the back, but uh, that's just how it turned out. And uh, to me, it, it, it does look very insect-like anyway, so mixing in a bit of lobster, why, why not? I don't know. And I've still got my wee space here. And my plan is to build some sort of arm. This is just a sort of mock-up I made. I've been watching the Cut Transform Glue, and he, he always makes up mock-ups out of stuff first. I think it's a pretty cool idea. So uh, that's the idea for that. And then my other six exhausts, I've got some bendy garden wire here and it just fits perfectly into the spray bottle tubing. So I'll be able to run it anywhere I want really. I was restricted with the tubing just because you can't really bend it. So yeah, really happy with it so far. Um, this is as far as I'm going to take it in this video, uh, just because I've run out of space memory on my phone. Um, so I'll upload this and then I'll, uh, I'll just continue working, maybe do part two and part three. I did get my laptop back. But I got about five minutes use out of it before it broke down again. So that's out of action. But I can still work away on my phone. For now I've got a primer. That I kept the wheels off just for primer in it. And this is just my red oxide primer. And then I had a tiny bit of matte black left. So I spread it from below just with matte black. Just misted it. And then misted it from above with some of the grey primer. And I just gave it a tiny wee bit of shadowing. And I think the pros call it a Xenothal Prime. So uh, I'll get the wheels back on here just so we can get the final final sort of look and uh, then uh, back to me in the craft room and then some glamour shots.
So, there you have it. Uh, next episode, I'll be adding a few more details and adding a weapon arm. Uh, so, until then, thanks very much for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you just know where to go there, down below, work away. And remember, there are no stupid questions here. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!